Hey, what's going on everyone, it's Jason, and in this video I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to make shapes inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion, coming up. All right, so here we are inside of the Edit tab of DaVinci Resolve, right? And the first thing we wanna do is take this Mavic Pro clip, and what we wanna do is create a Fusion clip. So right-click on the footage here, New Fusion Clip, you can see that changes the color. I like to left click and highlight this and then right click on it and color code my footage and my Fusion Comp so that I know what clips inside of a timeline or Fusion Composition. So you've got a little navy color, do whatever you feel like doing here, it just helps me stay organized when I'm editing. The next thing I wanna do is left click on the Fusion tab and what you have to do inside of Resolve and Fusion is you need to use backgrounds to create shapes, okay? And I know that sounds really confusing, like a background feels like it should be behind something, but I'm gonna take a background and put it over our Mavic Pro clip right here. And you can see that creates a merge and then a black background here by default. Left click on background, let's just come over here and let's left click on just, you know, pink here. And what I'm gonna do is take that pink color and create a mask over the top to create a shape. So you have our mask tools up here. Left click on rectangle. That creates a mask over the footage. You can move this around really easily by doing this now. And then what I wanna do is take that mask and I wanna highlight a part of the drone footage. I can take this and left click and make this, you know, a nice long line like this or a long rectangle, slim it down. If I wanted to put some text over this, I could do this pretty easily. But let's just take it for now. Let's reset it for a second. Reset the height and width by double clicking those attributes. And now what I wanna do is create some space in here where we can see the drone itself. Let's left click on solid, okay? Takes it away completely. Now let's come over to border width and left click and hold that and you can see you can make a spot to kind of highlight your footage. In this clip, that's what I wanna do. Now let's just left click this, bring this in a little bit, make it a little smaller and highlight that by putting it over the camera, okay? That's a really easy way to make a simple rectangle to highlight something in a video if you wanna create a shape. I can left click on the edit tab and then I can see that it transferred over to my footage right here. So it looks good, very quick, simple and easy to do. Now let's right click to delete the rectangle and let's move on to our next shape and let's change colors by left clicking on background. Coming over here, change this to yellow for now. And then let's take the, uh, the ellipse, left click on this mask, we've got background highlighted, left click that and now we have a circle shape. I can do the same thing, I can move my circle inside of the space pretty easily and pretty quickly here. Now what I wanna do though, again, solid left click, increase the border width, and then let's decrease the size of the circle by left clicking here and just bringing it in. You can see I increased the border width of there. Let's decrease that again, make it a little more thin, and let's highlight this part of the drone, okay? And again, we've got a very simple circle shape with a background and then using an ellipse tool. You can see that transferred over into our edit really quickly and easily. Let's come back to the Fusion tab and delete the ellipse. And now I wanna make a triangle. So let's left click on background again. Let's change our color. Let's go black this time. Actually, let's go gray. And let's come over to the effects library, left click on tools. And then we have mask right here. Left click on mask. And this is gonna let me access a triangle. A triangle I don't see here in this selection, the quick selection. So if I left click on triangle, now we have a triangle mask, right? So that's excellent, so we have a triangle spot. With the triangle, if I try to left click and drag it, you can see it doesn't let me do that. It will let me manipulate the sides of the triangle and change the, you know, the height of it and the width and these types of things, but not the pure size. So what I need to do is come to backgrounds, left click on that and select transform. And now with the transform, I can actually change the size of this triangle shape right here. Let's change that background one more time. Let's change it to red to make it stick out a little bit better. I'm gonna left click on triangle again. I'm gonna unclick solid, and we'll increase the border width here like this. Now remember, if I wanna maneuver this around the screen to highlight a part of the uh, image, left click on transform, and for the triangle mask, you're gonna to have to move this around like this. This though is a really easy way to make a triangle within Resolve quickly and easily, okay? The next shape that we wanna do are custom shapes, okay? So let's delete transform for a second, and right click to delete the triangle. We'll keep the red for the moment and let's go ahead and let's do the polygon. So let's left click on polygon. Now I can take this and make points and marks within the image. So let's say I wanna make kind of an arrow here, left click here, left click here, left click here, left click here, and then left click here to finish it. 
see we have a little bit of an arrow shape, right? So that's pretty cool. The next thing I wanna do is resize it. So left click on background, left click on transform, and I can make this bigger or smaller within this space, okay? And I can move it around now in the image if I wanna highlight you know, this part of the, uh, the battery as an example back here. Let's come back to polygon and left click on that. Remember that you can take it, you can take it from being a solid and eliminate that and then increase the border width if you wanna make a different type of an arrow there. That's how you use the polygon tool within Resolve to create shapes. All right, and the last thing that we wanna do is do a more of a line, like a straight line, if I wanted to highlight something like that. Let's left click on rectangle again. While we have background selected, we've got red going here. Take that rectangle and just drag it down, make it nice and thin, make it a line, okay? And then I can hit solid if I wanted to, right, to take that away and do the border width again if I really wanted to. Might look a little bit funny with as thin as it is. Um, so let's reset that. Left click on solid again. And then what I can do is pick corner radius if I wanna make it a little more rounded here, okay? And then again, you can move that up and down. If I wanna put a line right here and then I wanted to add some text above that line, I could put a title or something like that with a straight line. If I wanna look at that shape in the edit, left click on the edit tab, that takes me over here, and I can see that line over our video now. All right, so there you have it, a quick and easy way to make five different shapes in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you found this content helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you have a different way of doing this inside of Fusion, make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'm Jason, we'll see you next time.